Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. Seeing the snow continue to fall here across parts of Teller County. This is our live cam view in Cripple Creek. And although I haven't seen any reports out of the Cripple Creek area, we did get one report so far out of Florissant. And that report came in with about 1.9 inches of snow. By the way, we just saw that car fly by. That is what we don't want to do. We want to drive slowly during these snowstorms, especially in areas where you can see some snow or ice on the roadways. It really doesn't take much to create some dangerous conditions. It takes you longer to slow down, then speed up, and this could lead to spin outs and, of course, accidents there in parts of southern Colorado. Now, the pavement completely dry in the springs where we have seen some snow showers, but Again, most of the moisture as expected is staying south and west of us. Pueblo, you're not seeing the snow right now either. You're 33 and cloudy, still above freezing here, but we have seen some snow flurries in the area and more off to your west. Canyon City, check out the snow on the roadway there in the downtown area. And some of those snowflakes flying across the sky as we have a bit of a north breeze at about five to 10 miles per hour. And finally, I wanna show you Trinidad where it looks like we picked up several inches of snow so far. And if this storm stays true to form, I think we could see as much as maybe four to five inches in Trinidad by early Tuesday morning. Now, take a look at where the heaviest snow bands are setting up tonight. It looks like we have one trying to generate right over Pueblo County out towards even Crowley and Otero counties. Some moisture moving in from the north and that's converging with some of that moisture in those feeder bands from the south. So those pockets could see some heavier snow bands once they do set up. But notice here in and around the springs, not seeing a whole lot of snow. Most of it's very light or some flurries for that matter, where we are seeing maybe some more concentrated bands is down towards Fort Carson and Fountain and up across Highway 24. Now down to the south, here's where it is heavier, Cuchara to La Vida to Walsenburg and Trinidad, getting some of those more moderate to heavy bands of snow. Now we do have widespread winter weather advisories for many areas in Southern Colorado, the Northern Sangres, the wets. Yeah, these spots could wake up to around a foot of snow. And we could see even more than that across the Southern Sangres and the uh, eastern San Juans where winter storm warnings are in effect through tomorrow afternoon. So here's the latest updated high res model. And I want you to notice by midnight, most areas north of Highway 50, that snow stays pretty far west of I-25. Look how quickly things start to retreat and pull back as this load drops to the southwest and moves towards Arizona and California. I think snow is going to cut off pretty quickly. North of Pueblo, I expect that to occur between 2 and 5 a.m., and then we'll see decreasing clouds and lessening snow chances for the mountains by the afternoon. Let's talk about some updated snow accumulations. This would be in addition to anything we've already seen. And yeah, we could see maybe a trace to two inches in Pueblo still, uh, maybe a trace to an inch or two, possibly three for some of the western areas in the springs, one to four in Woodland Park, seven to 10 for Rye, three to six in Walsenburg, and around 10 to 14 for La Vida. Lows tonight as the storm moves through, we get some cold, we get some snow. Those temperatures will drop down to the teens and 20s. And your highs tomorrow, even with some sun breaks in the afternoon, that sunshine isn't going to warm us up all that much. We'll be stuck in the low 30s. Then we get a big push of downslope air on Wednesday. So it's breezy and it's much, much warmer. Look at that high of 56 on Wednesday and still in the 50s Thursday before cooler air moves in on Friday. Pueblo, we're in the 30s here on Tuesday with snow ending very early in the pre-dawn hours. Could be up near 60 on Wednesday with that downslope flow and mid-50s on Thursday. Canyon City, 30s here on Tuesday, 50s Wednesday into Thursday. As we head towards the weekend, possible we could get another storm system that moves in Sunday night and into Monday. For Woodland Park, early morning flurries giving way to some sun breaks in the afternoon and a high of 26. Windy and warmer heading towards Wednesday. So some snow shoveling weather out there tonight and folks might be having to shovel those sidewalks tomorrow as we make our way to Tuesday morning. Elizabeth.